Now, this is a blog for somebody. You can compare this blog with the other one I, I, um, I, I just created. Now we have the next button. So this is not a static, this is a static um, website. That is why the next button is green to go down to next. So let's do something like this. I want to show you the plugin I use. Look at this um, plugin, blog designer for Elementor. So let's go and install that blog designer for Elementor. This is it here. It comes with this logo. Just click on install, then activate. Let's also um, look for essential add-ons for Elementor. With this blog designer for Elementor, you can do whatever you want to do. So let's use. Let's look for um, essential add-ons. Essential add-ons for Elementor, and also premium add-ons for Elementor. All these plugins are very, very important. Hope we are still following. Yes. So let's go down to all of my pages. Let's see if we can edit it in the now. Now You can see that there is nothing on this web. There is nothing on our page again. You can see that there is nothing on this web. There is nothing on our page again. Because we have removed it from our normal blog page. So it's showing as a normal, as a normal plain page. So let's add our, um, this thing. Let you just come down here and just type blog. We have a premium blog. Let's try, let's use premium blog. Just click and drag it inside this section. Are we seeing it? So with this one now, you can change the header color, you can change the body color and all that. Now we have the skin color, we have um, modern. Are you seeing the difference between modern? Look at classic. Classic, it will be under the text will be under the image. For modern, it will come up a little bit on top of the image. Now you can also adjust this one down and also adjust it. So it depends on what you want. We have um, cards, something like this. 
Now this card will show you the auto pictures and all that we have on side. This. We also have banner. Something like this. So you look for something that's more matured and Oh, I just go with classic. Now, how many columns do you want your blog to be? You can choose equal heights here. It means your image will be on equal height um, image. Now, how many columns? For the equal height, eh, it means your blog, your each and this thing, each column will be on the same height. How many columns do you want? We have four columns, we have five. So don't go with six columns. You don't want to build a um, blog that is little and um, very small. It's either you use two or three columns. On this blog now, I think I use um, either three columns or so. I use three columns here. Yeah. Now, if you choose three columns now, the third one will not show because we have only two posts here. <sighs> now, how many posts do you want per page? Is it four posts? Is it how 10 many? posts? Now, let's look how many posts do we have per page here before you see your next button. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have, yeah, we have twelve posts per page. So it depends on what you want. You can do hundred posts per page. Are we getting it? I just go with the twelve posts per. Page. Now your post source, it should be your post from your post page. It should match categories or you want to exclude categories. Fine. I just post match categories. You can exclude the author. It's showing Nancy as the author. You can exclude that if you want to. So all this one are just normal settings. We have the current posts. Exclude current posts. All these ones are just the featured image settings. Show featured image. If you have the featured image, it means this one will go out. Are we seeing it? If you're on your feature image, it will come back. Do you want 300 by 300? So it depends on what you want. Then the effects, once you come on top, which effects is this zoom in over effects? Once you bring your mouse on, on it. And all these are just normal. Then the heights, this height of it's in, it is better you just work on same image and this thing. Because if you start reducing and increasing your height, it will affect the whole, um, this thing, website. You can see now, they are having the same heights, but it will still affect the picture you are using. Display option, your header. Hope you're all getting this. Once you can read and write, you'll be able to get all this one. Don't put this one on. This one simply means your your blog your blog post will be sliding. So don't enable this. We don't want um sliding this thing. Now, what is the meaning of pagination? Who can tell me? Who is telling me pagination? The meaning. Huh? Something that has to do with page. 
Are you asking me or you are telling me? Nancy, are you telling me or you're asking me? Nancy, are you telling me or you're asking me? Now, this is the meaning Page of pagination. Nine. Something like this. Pages. Page one, page two, page three, and so on. Pages. You guess. Yeah, I, I, I should see that is why it's showing the ISS yes, six. So you can um do your pagination. Eh? It's a form of separating pages, like you're trying to separate pages. Yes, something like this. We separate page one from page two. This is page two. Once you click on this, you go down to the next page and all that. Now on this particular um, blog post, I choose about six pagination to show one to six. Now on this part, you can also determine what you want to do here. Enable your next and previous button is important. Enable it. Now, where do you want it to take? Align left, align. So it is better you just put it at your right hand part. You all know that if you want to change your color, you come down to styling. Your title color, your overlay color. All these ones are called the Metal Gear color. Have we seen the Metal Gear color? Meta um data color. It also has the over effect too. Your boss content so you can change the color. You can make it twice if you want to. Now let's update and see. We have the box effect, the old box effect. Want to add box shadow and all that. Hope we are getting it. Hope we are getting it. Now, how will I add the sliding effect to it? Let's type in. This is it here. Yeah. Evil slider. This is the evil slider here. Yeah, this top part here yeah, that is sliding automatically. It's called evil slider. Let's create a new top and add it. Now click and drag it to the top. I want to make it two width. And I want to stretch it. Let's come down to step it and also make it um, a full width layout. Um elemental full width. Okay. So let's refresh our page and see what we have. I created a section here. Okay. Then come down here and click on um, type you. You can drag it in. Yes, then take it up. You understand? You can make here your full width and stretch it. Update. Mm -hmm. You get it. Okay, this is for the 
will so the other what's it called? The other way of building a block on cyber hey, hey, what? Like the other method of building blocks that you have to go and have this like, uh, hero uh, Yeah, this is another way of building blocks. With, and you have a free license to it, any color, any size of and all that. Yeah. Very free to do that. You get. So me, I prefer using this to build a blog. So there are some things you can also hide here. Um, show post meta. You can hide your show post meta. You can you can work on your evil um this. We have category at the top. It's left to you to show the category or hide the category at the top. Now the category is out. So there is more button. It's not just okay. to show it. And your styling, so you can work on your styling. Hope you understand it. Yes, sir. Speed effects and the animation effects. So, can we build a standard block like this now? So, can we build a standard block like this now? We are not talking. I will try it out. So any questions so far? Okay, please. Uh, we need you to like give a recap of those plugins that I said we should install on the website to create for us. Hello. I said um Hello? Blog, blog designer for Elemental. Essential Adam Elemental. Essential Adam. What does that do? What is the that essential Adam? The essential add-ons comes with them um, different um, add-ons. Like add-on simply means um this um, um this thing now it add more um add-ons to uh, um it add more to yeah to get without adding that um um this, more tools there's no way to get evil this thing with them um, normal Elemental. So without add on site, add more tools on your sidebar, on your elemental tools. The, the widget area. Uh, yeah, add more widgets. Now, if you install Elemental for nice, we unlock all these ones we have at the side. Okay. Ah. Uh? <laughs> Hello, I didn't get that part. This uh, this network is bad. The, the line is just this thing is breaking. <laughs> 